Hi guys, you are watching OxyVlogs and if this is your first time here and you would like to know more information about life in Dubai, how to get a job in the city, keep watching this video. I received a lot of emails from fresh graduates who are looking for a job in Dubai, so today I'm gonna share with you some steps that will help you to achieve certain results. Job market in Dubai is getting tougher, so it's quite difficult for a fresh graduate to find a job in this city. But if you are determined, hardworking, and you are passionate about what you are doing, you will definitely succeed. Dubai has a lot of opportunities which can be used by fresh graduates to their advantage with a little bit of planning. The whole application and uh, interview process can take months before you get a job offer. That's why you need to plan everything and start your job search process in advance. The first step will be to reach out to your friends and relatives who work in the industry of your interest and learn as much as possible about their job. The second step will be to create a list of companies and the job vacancies you are interested in. Today everyone is fighting for time, so recruiters will not read your long stories. They have only 6 seconds to review your CV and understand if you have some potential or not. So you have to create short, concise, interesting and uh, quite attractive CV. It should be easy to read so the employers can uh, understand your experience, potential and what value you can bring to the company. You should customize your CV to each job you are applying for because it will help you to pass through the ATS system and also you will increase your chances to be noticed by the employer. Be active on LinkedIn even if you don't have any work experience. Make a goal to post at least once a day. It can be an article, it can be a picture with some interesting information related to your industry. Being active on LinkedIn will increase your chances to be noticed by other people, by recruiters. And also there is one very interesting setting which is called I'm interested. You can find it in privacy settings. You should turn it on. So recruiters who use the paid search platform will be able to see that you are looking for some new opportunities. And if you are working for another company at the moment, your boss won't be able to see that you are looking for a new job. Once your resume is ready, you are going to email it to many recruiters. So it's a great time to create a professional ID email. I recommend you to use some well-known providers such as gmail.com or yahoo.com and don't use any funky names in your email ID. Just write your full name, for example, at gmail.com. So your email ID will look professional. My next advice is to start building your personal brand. Because today almost everyone is on social media and when recruiters receive your CV, um, many of them go and check your social media profiles to understand your personality before they invite you for a job interview. And that's why you should keep your profile clean and make sure that it offers a, a good impression to the employers. As I mentioned earlier, you should start posting some blogs uh, related to your industry, share your professional achievements on your social media accounts because all these things will help you to uh, get more interviews with the prospective employers. And in addition to your personal brand, it's very important to start networking with other professionals. Uh, almost everyone has a LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook account, so you can find some professional groups, join them. Uh, there are so many groups to, related to different industries. Because when you are active on the social media and you uh, bring some value to your friends and connections, uh, eventually it will help you to land a job. Because when uh, people hear about some job openings, uh, the first thing they do, they refer their friends and relatives. And don't forget about offline networking because face-to-face -face communication leaves a much stronger impression on the people you are connecting with. So guys, thank you for watching. I hope my tips help you to understand what your first steps should be. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And I wish you all the best with your job search.